It's the size of Jamaica, 11,000 square kilometers, but not for much longer. The Wilkins ice shelf is now connected to the rest of Antarctica by a strip of ice just a few hundred meters wide. In the last year, a sequence of satellite photographs has shown enormous cracks opening in the ice and a jigsaw of icebergs floating away. A team from the British Antarctic Survey has just seen those cracks close up. Huge, absolutely huge. They, uh, the cracks that are in Wilkins Ice Shelf and the chunks of ice that are splitting away from the ice shelf, they're kind of shopping mall sized uh, chunks of ice and some of them are just floating off into the ocean. In just 50 years, average temperatures in the Antarctic Peninsula have risen by more than 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Vaughan says that as CO2 emissions and greenhouse gases such as CFCs warm the climate, Antarctica's geography is changing dramatically. This is not the only ice shelf that's done this. It's about the ninth in the series of ice shelf that's been lost. So we know it's connected to climate. At least one of those ice shelves that's been lost before had been there uh, continuously for 10,000 years. Other scientists say that's putting at risk an ecosystem that's evolved over thousands of years. A lot of people think of ice and snow as very sterile and uh, environments that there's no life but in fact these ice shelves have uh, harbor uh, ecosystems that can tolerate the conditions there, the, the cold conditions and uh, there are uh, other environments created by ice shelves as well that are disappearing when the ice shelves disappear. Scientists don't expect Wilkins disintegration, which accelerated suddenly last year, to influence sea levels. But when ice shelves collapse, the glaciers behind them flow toward the ocean faster. The big ice sheets, Greenland and Antarctica, are now the major sources of uncertainty in predicting sea level rise in the future. So what's happening on Wilkins um, and what's happening elsewhere deeper into the Antarctic continent are major concerns for us. Vaughan is on a UN climate panel that projected world sea levels would rise between 18 and 59 centimetres this century, enough to swallow much of coastal Louisiana. But that estimate, he says, may have been conservative. Tim Lester, CNN, Atlanta.